Better late than never. And here's the group that will start for the Clippers tonight. Avery Bradley and Tobias Harris. Marcin Gortat and Jason Goldenberg. Gortat in white will jump center for the Clippers and control it easily against make a petition. Well, it's all about marking. Here's a block by Mark. On the home team. Hey, you're right. On the road, you got to recognize the logos <laughs> on the court to know where you are. Tobias Harris for the first score of the game. Bingo. Insurgency exit. 5-1 ball game. Clippers by one. Portis in close. With the first swap was... Like, you know, you come in late. The Clippers got here 40 minutes before the game. You know, they want to take advantage of those opportunities. Harris, great ACL injury and being really assertive on the court for the Bulls. They reject the shot from Harris. There's Levine still a high flyer. Two time slam dunk king. 8 5 basketball game. Clippers by three. Oh, they swap off. Gets the pick. Bradley hard to the goal. Throws one in. A lot of time. And you don't want to have a, you don't want to feel like you've given up. Harris steps back for a three ball. His third of the game. Bing. You could use some heat. I'm telling you, it has been cold. Yes. Here, like minus four degrees today. Oh. Yeah, I guess Lopez. But Chris Dunn brings it ahead. Look at this. Oh, man. Tobias Harris has it at the elbow. Down the lane to Gortat. Couldn't extend to get it, but... Do you even remember the old Chicago Stadium? I do remember. I remember actually sitting in the three clip. <laughs> you know, I'm running down. I'm running down the court and thinking of something to do. And I'm like, well, maybe I should do a flip right. You know what? It was actually a subpar dunk. Well, it was a first-rate flip. Harold and heavy traffic. Number seven o'clock game. The snow was falling like crazy. It's an absolute blizzard. As Robinson fires and scores to record our pregame radio show on the bus and route. We pull in to the building at about 10 minutes to 7. For some thought about the three. Bill Grimm's a little floater. Look, look at him. Give it a lot. What a job by Motley. Oh, real my. I'm telling you, you we can call him the... And on the shot clock. Here's Parker. Just a natural born scorer. Gilgis Alexander working with it on the wing to Lou. He'll let it fly. Bingo. Now I don't want you to get back on the court and, and being professional. Knocked away. It'll come the other way with it. They just look like a more formidable basketball team with it. A consistent 20 to 25 minutes a game. That's a help up 35. Exactly. Whoa. Well, that's a terrible pass. Clippers got to keep their focus. Bad things can happen. Parker on the wing. Dunn straight away for three. High arch your finger. Anything can happen in his lead. Lou Williams. Harold. Oh, right to get Jabari Parker in the air to finish. From the corner, Bingo. Three ball. This Chicago Bulls team. 11 to 4 run here for the Bulls. Jerome Robin against the shot blocked by Parker. Parker will spin into the front court. Oh, my. Fear your opponent a chance to take the lead on you during this game. Gilgis Alexander will it fall? Yes, it will. That is a go. And the Bulls are feeling it now. Here comes Hutchison. Hard to the goal. Off the glass. Every shot that they take, you make it feel like they can't go anywhere to get confidence. Motley. Nice. The Bulls lead by four. And he's making Jim Boylan and just the Bulls organization second get. Done. Spin against Beverly. The Portis. It is when you give a team that really don't have any confidence, and all of a sudden you start having a little competent guy come on the floor, Jabari Parker get those quick 10, and everyone else feels like they can score the basketball. Shea Gilgis Alexander just scored the basketball. Parker. And he was on it. He blows by him. Throws the ball away. Hutchison. Levine. Land up. They are a different ball club. Suddenly got us say hey, we can win this guard club. That one throws in. Portis. Into the paint. 
Levine stole the rebound away. I don't want to get allergic again. <laughs> Tobias went to left hand. Beautiful. Oh, mm -hmm. probably said, no, you're not going there. Here's Patrick with it. Wide open. Nice job. Portis again. Outside to Markinen. Just take that. This is not looking good, folks. Here's Markinen. Gliding to the goal. Tapped in by Portis. Take Jackson. <laughs> Here's Lou. Got bumps. No whistle. Lou Williams. They call because there's a lot of contact. If the referees are calling touch fouls, that's another play. Levine got the left hand. Beautiful. Got to get stops. Levine he gets a shot blocked by Harold. Ball bounced back and down. Ball's knocked loose. For defense, so on the signs of life. The lot, the touch home. Right up with a nice alley oop. So the Bulls right now had that deer in the headlights look. I'm talking about the pressure defensively. Inside the five minute mark of quarter number three. Oh, Lou Williams, a right hand scoop. That's why he's called three. Lou, 70, 65. Marketing wide open again. Is 15. Unleash the beast in Jabari Parker. Lou. Almost slam dunk with a right hand. Oh. Again against Harold. Blank with three fouls. Wild pass, but Selden gets a free pass. And I really didn't like it because I mean that's my job, you know, and he was like messing with us like there was nothing to it. And because you know when when, when you attract the double team, you gotta find the open me. Robinson for three. And is inserted into the NBA game and making plays with efficiency. Lou through traffic takes possession. You got to be, be aware of Jabari Park attacking the basket. Missed the shot, but it's hit up and in by Porter. He's he just doing things offensively that was ever dreamed about. Boy, he had an easy one. Though. He makes it easy anyway. Well, great. Levine, head down, goes to the basket, draws the foul, gets the foul. There was in the score. Robinson for three. Bingo! Well, great activity for Montrez here. Running, Markman off that line. Motley for the lead. Beverly lose the basketball. Done with the steal. Clippers retreat. It's Markman using that screen, and even if you get the switch on Hutchison, you can blow past him as well. And he does exactly that. Lead stands at two. Levine. Bingo. Goes after his fifth rebound. Lou. The Herald. Bradley gets another look at it. Shot clock's at 10. He'll shoot for three. Wow. All these nice offensive possessions. Well, they didn't look hungry early. Clippers let them be hungry. Harris. Challenged by Beverly. Here's Dunn with 10 o'clock. Dunn, right elbow jumper. Good challenge by Harold. The seven footer. Six one guard. Inside to Harold. Lou Williams says, I'm going to do it. Back around pass to Portis. Minute and a half to go. Clippers by three. Levine. Hey, he's going to put it into panic mode and start to play defense. Lou may double team him. Beverly. All the way to the goal, London in! Lose the expert foul shooter. Just foul me if you dare. Lou turns the corner, down the corner. Gets the ball to Harold for the slip. By the monster, Montreal. Five point lead. Put up and in my corner. I'm no longer panicking. Here comes Dunn. I'm so glad that we could get on this boat and relax. I just hope we get a different bus driver. I want to get to the airport, you know, before the charter flight leaves. You and me both. <laughs> well, I love being Man, home, though. Zippers get a, a three and one road trip, a very solid one this game.